Alas, poor G4, I knew thee well. That's right, friends. It's your man Z here from Our Views Will Kill You. And we're going to drop something about G4. As you may have heard across the interverse, across the interwebs, the G4 is done. We've done reporting on it here. Pretty sure you can't tell people. If you don't like it, don't watch it. They're probably not going to watch it. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, uh, looks like G4 is officially, officially done. We covered some of the different things that happened. We covered the layoffs. We covered the actual incident itself. You can catch all those videos up here if you want to hear them. Because clearly, someone we know is not bangable. Um, but let's see how the news covered this one. Perhaps they did not mention the aforema uh, aforementioned person that we were speaking about and how they may have single-handedly destroyed their entire programming and show and went viral and ruined everything eh, let's not talk about that let's go to the news articles let's check out Deadline Deadline wants to tell us that G4 pulls the plug on or Comcast pulls the plug on G4 TV ending a year long comeback yeah right Comcast Spectacore Division is pulling the plug on the video game centric network G4 remains a cultural touchstone for many millennials that's right, you you remember it, you loved it. You loved Attack of the Show, X-Play, some comedy called Boosted, never heard of that. Ninja Warrior, I mean, I remember Ninja Warrior, I remember X-Play. Didn't like Attack of the Show so much, but uh, you know, I get, I get how people could like it. Uh, X-Play, I did enjoy the video game reviews. I actually enjoyed Adam Sessler uh, and Morgan Webb. Good hosts, fun show. But when they made their comeback, they were going to bring back some of those uh, original shows. And uh, looks like they were calling it the MTV of video games. <laughs> MTV, I don't even know if that's a channel anymore. When was the last time MTV had any tap into youth culture, please? You know, everything you see that's interesting is going on on, on YouTube and, and creators, individuals, you know, a couple of people just running the show maybe one or two people that you like have a great channel not like 30 people and producers and all sorts of people so anyway they sent out a memo most of these people had no idea what was going on many of them heard it from this deadline article that they lost their jobs they lost their jobs it's a real shame it said it's a very difficult to decision to discontinue G4's operations effective immediately. No more. Remember, we covered it. Everybody got laid, or like a whole bunch of people got laid off, and then, you know, Frost was like, yeah, dude, I survived, bro. Yeah. Well, guess what? You didn't. She got canned, and looks like everybody else got canned. Way to bring down the entire uh, network. It's a real shame. Well, let's check out what the Washington Post has to say. G4 shuts down after layoffs and high-profile pro talent departures. I don't think they were voluntarily departed from. After mass layoffs, less than a year. So that uh, rant that went viral from Frost, I'm pretty sure that happened in February, and... I'm pretty sure you predicted it that it would the the channel would cease to exist within a year. Guess what? You were right. <laughs> you knew it this whole time. Anybody who paid attention to this knew that that channel was going to fail. You cannot insult everybody and be like, "You don't like my video game reviews? Don't watch it. You don't like? I don't write my own reviews. I we we all co we co work together to write our reviews." Peace. Well, I'm pretty sure Frost was responding to she had been called out for misunderstanding how the Xbox works versus the, the PlayStation Network. Something that she was called out on and she didn't like that she was being criticized about it. So she called it misogyny. We called it, you a dumbass. 
Anyway, over the past several months, we worked hard to generate interest in G4, but viewership is low and the network has not achieved sustainable financial results. Yeah, you can't pay like 50 people. If you can lay off 30 people and still function as a company, that's a lot of people to lay off. How do you keep going? What do you, you know, how do you keep going? Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Apparently, there's an NDA uh, non-disclosure agreement being passed around. People were locked out of internal communications like Slacks and Google Google Drives. Apparently, there was a big... Uh, they, they lost a critical deal with the WWE. So, I guess that caused the crash. Really, none of that had anything to do with Frost literally telling people to stop watching the show. And you have Adam Cesspool sitting there in the background causing problems. So... It is interesting, though. Washington Post did, in fact, seem to cover some of this. I'm shocked, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> they're trying to bring in YouTube and Twitch creators, like uh, Name Your Price, which was hosted by Twitch stars like Austin Show. Don't know who that is. Uh, they also spent, you know, twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars to invite uh, high-profile creators on their show. Uh, yeah, like, look here. It says, G4 laid off more than 20 crew members, many of whom worked on shows like video game review and commentary flagships like X-Play. You could, af you could afford to lay off 20 people, right? Uh, one of the most promising or prominent faces, X-Play host, Indiana Froskurin Black, it was no longer with the network. And Kevin Pereira was already going to bail anyway. I just think it's funny. They mention Frost, but they don't say like, oh, the big viral incident that caused it to be a problem. So we asked for it. It happened. Uh, put your money where your mouth is. And, you know, apparently Frost had been kicked out of League of Legends because of her personality there as well. Don't be a jerk to people. Try to be nice. You know, when we make criticisms, we make it because we care, not because we hate. So... Keep it real. Just wanted to discuss some of the news. What do you think? Were you excited to hear this happen? Were you right in your prediction? Tell me, this is a death pool. We predicted the death pool or the death of G4. When did you predict it? Did you say October 16th? If you had it in there, maybe I'd pay you something. I mean, we didn't officially set a death pool. I'm pretty sure many of you said fall. You tell me down below what you said originally, and I will... Call it out on the big live show, which we have 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Live stream. Come join with us. Hang out there. You can also catch that same podcast on all places. Stitcher, Spotify, uh, iTunes, all those places and more. Enjoy it there. We also have new feature 10-second reviews. Knocking it out of the park. We're killing it with reviews. You're going to get so many you don't even know what to do with yourself. And they're all hilarious. Anyway... Come join us. Join the fun. But from us here at Our Views Will Kill You, I'm on to the next one.